So now I know how to find end time. Let's work on start time. So this number line is going to be a little bit different than the last number line as I will know my end time instead of my start time. So this one's going to have the question mark. And this I know. So let's say that I, um, I left a party at 7.30. Well, I want to know what time the party started if the party lasted an hour. Let's say that the party lasted two hours and five minutes. Okay. And I'm going to use two different colors just like I did on the last one. Well, instead of adding onto this number line, we're going to subtract on this number line. So I'm going to, I'm going to use black. I haven't used any of my videos yet. All right. So... I'm going to start over here at 7.30 and I'm going to subtract my hours. Remember, I'm going to have bigger rainbows or jumps than I do for, um, for minutes for my hours. So let's say that I'm going to jump one hour. Okay, so this is one hour and I'm subtracting that. Okay, so now instead of 7.30, I am now at 6.30. Now I have one hour left, okay? So now I'm going to make my next jump. And remember, I'm going to subtract one hour. And instead of at 6.30, I'm now at 5.30. Now my hours are gone. Okay, let me change my color real quick. And then we can subtract our minutes. Alright, I know I don't have very many minutes, but we're going to make a smaller jump and subtract five minutes. From 5.30. So my start time is actually 5.25. Now that one was a little easy, um, but it's the same kind of comp Type of concept um, if I was doing a harder question. So my answer for my start time is 525.